what's up you guys Shardimus Prime here day five of my one week random review bonanza and I'm doing a video review on the movie Daredevil um, I have never seen such a shitty movie so many times and I don't really know why um, I, I, I am a Daredevil fan I love the character Daredevil but um, dude this fucking movie sucks hard man and it's you know I and I'm making this review just because I want to recommend people to get it, but not necessarily to watch the movie. Like, if you've seen the Daredevil movie already, um, and it's been out for a while, it came out in February 2003. If you'd seen the movie already and you haven't gotten a DVD, get the regular version of the DVD for the special features. It is the best part of the DVD purchase. I actually got this for free. I used to work at a video store, and, and they... There's like a pile and they said I can take it, so yeah, but um, I actually eventually went to the store and bought the uh, the uncut version, which is not really much better. It kind of makes me like um, Colin Farrell less and uh, and it's just a longer, more boring version of the already bad Daredevil movie. And I think it's hilarious. It has Jennifer Gardner on the cover. That kind of annoys me a little bit. It has um, yeah, and fucking douchebag Ben Affleck, who I always kind of liked, but ever since this movie, I think he's just a total douchebag, and I think he sucks. Colin Farrell, I actually thought was okay. He was over the top, but um, I thought he did a good job. You know, at least he was entertaining. And um, and then uh, Michael Clark Dunton was Michael Clark Duncan. I thought he was really good, but poorly casted, just because um, you know, in all honesty, the fact that Kingpin was a huge, evil, rich, white guy. Just made me hate him a little bit more. Um, and I'm half white, okay, so I could talk about hating white people, right? But yeah, it's just the fact that Kingpin's, you know, white just kind of made me always kind of like thought, think that character was a little bit more evil. You know what I mean? This, you know, I don't know. Yeah, so, um, and then um, Will Favreau, or wait, John Favreau, Will Favreau, John Favreau uh, plays Foggy Nelson, and when you watch the special features of this thing, um, it actually, you could see that um, John Favreau is actually learning a lot of things not to do in making a movie, because the director, um, what's his name, um, M MSJ, <laughs> Mark Steven Johnson, total douchebag, he's the same guy who did Ghost Rider, I mean, the director of this movie is a complete fucking douche. It, he has this way of wearing his hat, and the way he talks about Daredevil is like the, is, it's like he, like he acts like he made up Daredevil. And, um, yeah, so I'm not really talking about the movie so much, I'm talking about, you know, the, the, the players in this movie, but seriously, if it wasn't for this piece of shit movie, we would not have a badass Iron Man movie, is my point. So, um, yeah, because in the special features... It's like everybody on set's a little annoyed of John Favreau kind of like throwing his two cents in there here and there and stuff. So it's kind of you could see there's like a little tension like he sees things going wrong, but you know, he's just an actor in the movie, so he can't really he, he doesn't really have that much pull. So it's pretty funny. So later on, obviously, John Favreau way better filmmaker than uh, Mark Steven Johnson. But um cool things about the movie. Um I like the Daredevil vision. The Daredevil vision is cool. The way they did that, I thought that was actually badass. Um, I liked the uh, I liked the colors in the movie. I thought the there's like it had a good look to it. Like as far as um, you know, just visually, just the especially like the shots of the cityscape, things like that. I thought that was cool. Um, kid Daredevil, that little fucker was badass. The little kid playing Daredevil, I actually geeked out over that kid being Daredevil way over fucking douchebag fucking trying to be Daredevil. Um, you know, um, what's her face? You know, uh, Jennifer Gardner, you know, I think she's an ugly ass broad, honestly. I don't really think she's good looking. But, you know, she, she did well as Elektra. I thought she was okay. She really knows how to twirl size around and stuff. It looks cool, you know. Um, and, and like I said before, Colin Farrell was pretty interesting. Really, really retarded that they kind of insinuated that he was going to get a costume, but he never did. So, I think they made the character of Bullseye pretty badass. A lot of people were annoyed with him, but I thought he was cool. And I can understand why people were annoyed with him, but I actually thought Colin Farrell was cool. And, um, 
Yeah, so, uh, and what else did I think was cool? Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, the, the movie sucks, but the most entertaining thing is the behind the scenes. And you really get to see how the director really didn't know what he wanted. Like, even, like, figuring out what color costume to get and the different costume, uh, Daredevil costumes that they'd gone through. Like, it was like, what the fuck? Like, this big hoodie, like, some ridiculous ass shit. And, like, in, in the clothing room, like, there was, like, every color of red, like, that in their design room. And it's, like, it, like in the fabric shop, you know, making the different types of costumes. It's, like, you should know in your head what you want Daredevil to look like already. Like, the guy was just totally figuring out as it goes along. Or they waste a lot of money, like, trying to do shots. Like, there's this one shot where, like, Daredevil's jumping from building to building. And they actually got you know, the stunt guy, like, on a wire, like, really going all the way across, but the shit was so slow, and they couldn't use it, and then in the end, they ended up doing CGI. Dude, that is a huge waste of money and time, you know? So, they just didn't know how to handle it, and it was just horribly done, just horribly made. Director didn't know what was going on. Um, so, I'm not going to tell the whole story. Oh, another cool thing I actually liked about the movie was, like, the very last shot when Daredevil, like, you know, during the, the the outro monologue and Daredevil jumps off and, you know, throws his baton and, you know, in the you see the whole thing whip around. Like, at the end of the movie, like, yeah, me and my best friend were like, oh, shit, that was cool. Like, oh, that was actually Daredevil for a second. But, um, yeah, so, you know, and I thought they told the story of Daredevil okay, you know. But, uh, you know, there's, there's parts where there's inconsistencies, like when, you know, he, Daredevil throws... <laughs> That, well, the movie starts out, like, at the very beginning of the movie, Daredevil gets unmasked, you know? Like, that was, like, at the very beginning. And then, oh, and Ben Affleck cannot pretend to be blind. He cannot act blind. Like, it, it just makes no sense. And, it, like, he, he's constantly, like, you know what I mean? Like, he'll look right at you, uh, like, look right at Jennifer Gardner, and then, like, look to the side. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, come on. Well, I've seen, like, that chick who played the, um, was it Alicia or whatever, uh, Ben Grimm's girlfriend in the Fantastic Four movies, like, that girl was, like, a really good blind actor, you know, acting, that was good blind acting, so many other people have done great blind acting, this douchebag was terrible, and then Ben Affleck has no, um, no agility, and he doesn't even really look like Matt Murdock on top of it, I always thought Matt Damon would have been a great Matt Murdock, and because of the Born Identity movies, I thought he would have been a great Daredevil, but, um, he's not agile, and he, he's not quick on his feet, so there's a lot of hilarious scenes in the, in the behind-the-scenes footage of, of Ben Affleck, and I'm going to show you a clip right now. So far, when I'm going to do movie reviews uh, that I have on DVD, I'm going to show you guys one clip, because I have it ready on my VCR, or DVD player. Wow, I'm old VCR, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so this scene, basically, uh, it's a scene where Daredevil gets thrown into the glass by Kingpin, and... Ben Affleck thinks that he's going to he's gonna throw his two cents in how he could make it look better, and eventually he wants to be the big dick on set and try to do it himself. So, here, check this shit out. Uh, Alright, so there's TV screen. So that's a stunt double. And this... Douche. And that's the director to the left. That's the stunt double again. That's a douchebag. We came in at the same time. Never mind. No. What did you do that I didn't do? I've been in my outfit all day. What are you doing? This is your outfit. That's fine. Your shirt is all clean and fresh. <laughs> Stop dirt on it. Stop. Look at it. Okay, move. Look at it. There's nothing on you, man. Nothing, man. Your shorts are just like, yeah, man. Are you going to do something today? I just want to know. And three. 